The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of Western Armenia. The new issue of Western Armenia magazine has been published. The territory of Tavush and the position of the residents of Voskevan. Paco claims on an intensive movement of Armenian armed forces on the border. As a TV postponed the broadcast of in- interviews with the leaders of Artsakh. Spring, Gades Anahit and Easter. Support the state television of Western Armenia. On March 13, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia gave a speech. She particularly mentioned on March 23, the 7th Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The session was chaired by the first President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armen Gabdahamian. During the session, the main condition was discussed on the government of Western Armenia. Armena Gabdahamian referred to the rumors on handing over Tavush villages to enemy and expressed the position of Western Armenia. During the session, the members of the government proposed drafts which will be broadcasted by the state television of Western Armenia in the near future. The 22 issue of Western Armenia magazine has been published. In the new magazine, there are articles dedicated to the perception of public order in Western Armenia, the structure of Armenian identity in the world, actions of information influence. In the new chapter of Western Armenian magazine, you can be informed with the process of the destruction of Armenian presence in the Armenian temples located in the territories occupied by Artsakh as a result of the last war by Baku. In this issue, you can see the condolence letter of the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armen Gabdahamian, addressed to the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin. In the new issue, there is an extensive article dedicated to the devoted son of Western Armenia, Stefan Margosian. The Armenian, English and French versions of the magazine in PDF format can be downloaded below. The position of the residents of Voskevan on handing over the territory of Tavush. In case if territories from the four villages of Tavush will be handed over to Baku, four more communities of Tavush will be under siege, one of which is Voskevan. Sergei Grigorian, the administrative head of the Voskevan community, said in a conversation with journalists, adding that oh, everyone in the community is concerned about the talk of handing over the territories and everyone is against that. He mentioned, if they will give the road, there won't be a road from this side and they will have to build a new road from Ijevan to Kirans. But the construction of the road has not started yet. And Baku demands to hand over the lands immediately. This worries the, the people a lot. The head of the community emphasized that they are waiting to see what will be decided. If they decide to hand over the villages, they will also struggle and will stand next to the people of Voskebar. According to this observation, if the enemy would go to peace, he would return the land seized from other communities of Tavush. We have land under their control and they should give us our lands back. For example, we have 800 hectares of land in Berkelber, which were seized by Baku, and we also have land seized by them from other communities of Tavush from Koti and Barikamavan. Baku claims on an intense movement of Armenian armed forces on the border. Recently, manpower concentration of armored vehicles, intense movement of armed forces troops have been observed in various directions of Armenian Baku conventional border, the claims of the Minister of Defense of Baku. Baku declared that there is an activation of revengeist forces in Armenia, warning that any attempt at military provocation will be suppressed by the Baku army. Once again, we declared that the entire responsibility for the escalation of the situation and any possible provocation will fall entirely on Armenian and its sponsor, said it in a statement the Baku Defense Department. The Armenian side has not yet responded to this, this statement. In recent days, Baku criticized Yerevan for tripartite meeting in Brussels. The Speaker of the Armenian Parliament, Alan Simonian, did not exclude that Baku is preparing the ground for a possible provocation with the, its statement before the Pashinyan von der Leyen Blanken meeting to be held in Brussels on April 5. The statements of Baku are disturbing because there were similar statements before the occupation of Artsakh. 
As the TV of Baku issued a statement regarding not to broadcast the interviews of Artsakh political figures captured in Baku, the press secretary of the TV channel Rufail Saidov said in a response to the inquiry of the one of the Baku media that although the interview was initially announced to be broadcast on March 28, this information was later deleted from as a TV social media pages. Having an interview does not depend only on us. We had the question, is it correct to give an interview now? We have therefore removed the statement from all our social media accounts to avoid confusion for viewers. The interview will be broadcast when the time is known, and we will inform you on the day of the interview, said Rufat Seidov. Throughout Christian world, Easter is considered the celebration of resurrection. The name Easter comes from the word disever, which means to separate and turn away from sins. It is considered one of the five main celebration days of the Church, and on this day the whole Christian world celebrates the resurrection of Christ and announces to each other good news. Christ has risen from the dead and, receiving in response, blessed this resurrection of Christ. However, the roots of the Easter holiday in the Armenian world are much older. In ancient time, Easter was considered the festival of spring planting and was dedicated to Anahit goddess, who patronized the fertilization of the earth. Easter here again originated from the word to separate because it was Anahit who separated the colors of nature from each other. According to tradition, when the Aryans settled in Ararat Valley after the flood, they noticed that the shoots and flowers were completely covered with grainies. And the man, the Patrick of Aryans, offers sacrifices to the goddess Anahit, asking her to drive away the grainies and restore to them the thousand colors of nature. But now the bird is being held in an underground kingdom and man must free and return it. Man returns to Ararat with the Hazaran Nightingale. It was put the Hazaran Nightingale on the ground and the bird begins to sing, regating many colors and laying colorful eggs. Then Anahit coming to Ararat collects the colorful eggs and scatters them all over the field, and then orders the bird to build a nest on Mount Ararat and spread colors on earth all the time. And from that day on, the Aryan's people start happily tilling and sowing the land, and the children, brides and girls, sing, dance and play egg games until late in the evening. Unlike Christians who color Easter eggs dark red, the color of Christ shed blood. Aryans color Easter eggs in every possible color. For them, the meaning of Easter holiday was to celebrate the rebirth of life and the spring awakening of nature. Western Armenia television, being loyal to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It broadcasts mainly political and other contexts related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as news raising various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.